So I'm headed out to do a little hiking this afternoon. I just wanted to show you this view on the way to the spot where I'm gonna hike. It's just so beautiful. All the yellows and some oranges out here along the road. So, yeah. I don't know if it'll be this colorful along the trail, but I'm hiking, but man, it is, it is nice out here. I just have a little window of opportunity to go hiking here. Just got done teaching this morning. I thought I was gonna have all afternoon, but I got I got called into work tonight. I don't have to go in, but the extra money will be nice. I should be home grading homework right now, but, but man, I'm gonna come out here and enjoy this for a bit before we head home. But yeah, this is really nice out here. Yep, just absolutely beautiful. Yeah, so like I said, I should be I should be home grading homework right now, but I'm not. I'm gonna come out here and get some hiking in while I can. The sun was out earlier, but it looks like it might come out again. But we're not gonna have too many more days like this where it's uh, warm and somewhat sunny, so I'm gonna go out here and make the most of it. I can always get up early tomorrow morning and grade homework too, if I have to. You gotta take advantage of these nice days while you can. It's, you know, Several months it's gonna be cold and snowy, so I'm gonna get out here and enjoy this. So I'm in Swatara State Park. This is a place I come to. It's close by home, and I'm hiking the one section of the old railroad bed that doesn't get hiked too often. Although there are some uh, horse trails here, so we might run into some uh, people on horseback. But anyway, let's get out, do a nice little short little hike here. Maybe we'll see some fall colors, and who knows what else. But anyway, regardless of what we see, I'm gonna take you along with me as usual and it's a beautiful day and there are some bright splashes of yellow out here there's a lake down here so let's uh the trail takes us all the way down here. I've seen a wildlife. Oh, there was some fish down there. Oh, yeah, there's some something, something going on over there. It's a nice autumn view though. The sun is trying to come out there. It's nice colors over that way. Yeah, I'm not sure what was going on down there. There are fish down here. There's some sunfish and some bass that live in here. But yeah. Nice peaceful little spot here. Yeah, this area is actually part of the Union Canal. The, uh, the extension that came all the way up to Pine Grove. This is part of it here. There's this whole watery area. There are actually some old remnants of some several locks down this way too. I don't know if we'll look at one of them maybe today or not. But yeah, yeah I, got, I got my own color on. It is hunting season. I think it's just small game, but uh, anyway, I got this for like four bucks, so it does keep me a little bit safer out here. Most hunters are safe, but there's always there's always those out there that are uh, you know shoot first, ask questions later type. So not too many though. Right, we're gonna head it back to the main trail. Keep going. This is a nice little spot though out here. Yeah, right by that pond, there's uh, tons of these berries on this bush here. This is a barberry bush. Because the bar, it's full of barbs, but it's full of berries. I'm pretty sure these aren't poisonous, but I forget how edible they are too, so I'm not gonna do what I often do and pop some in my mouth. I forget how that goes with these, so. 
Let's see our barberries. Right by the lake, but we're gonna zoom in. I think we have a friend down here. Should we see him there in the middle? There's a turtle there, hopefully. It's a little chilly today, so he's trying to warm himself up out there. That would be a painted turtle. So we can zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, he's just chilling there. Yeah, there's actually quite a few turtles down there. They're just down from where I was, but some of them are sliding back into the water. I'm not so sure about me. Let's see if we can see some more here. See, there's one right there. He's got his eye on me. I'm not sure if there's any others out there or not. There's one. They're all kind of looking at me. I lost that other one now. Okay, sorry if you're tired of turtles, but there's probably hundreds of turtles down there. I don't know if I want to see them as I zoom in there, but down, uh, I don't know if you can see some of them down in there. It's probably blurry. It's all I'm trying to film through the brush there, but yeah, it's not working out so well. But down in there, a bunch of logs down there. They're just they're just chilling out down there, trying to get what sun they can. Because you know they're they're not going to be around much longer either. They're going to be uh, soon. You know, winter's coming. They'll burrow into the mud and hibernate down there for the winter. There's a ton of them down there. Little smaller ones. They're all those uh, eastern painted turtles, is what they are. There's a whole lot of wet, marshy land out there. It's kind of a shame because, you know, you go back in time, they thought that kind of land was wasteful, that it shouldn't, you know, they would do what they could to, to get rid of it, to drain it, plant it, just get rid of it. But actually that land, that type of land is very important to wildlife. That's why a lot of times we don't have as much wildlife as we did in the past, because we've always, you know, drained the swamps and marshes and stuff, and, you know, that's not a good idea. You know, wildlife needs places like this. It's always good to keep it around. Pretty sure lock number four is down this way for the, uh, like I said, for the Union Canal. I think that one got filled in quite a bit. They actually put a road over it, but uh, since we're out here, let's go take a look at it. A piece of history, so I'm pretty sure it's down this way if I remember correctly. We'll find out. And nope, I'm at the wrong spot. I'm quite a bit further down from where it is. This actually is the Union Canal right here. It's actually filled with uh, garbage and trash. And it continues on this way too. See someone pulled all kinds of bottles out, stuff. But that's what happened to sections of the Union Canal after, they, after it was shut down. People just use it for a dump and stuff. So, actually I'm, a, I'm a, quite a bit further down from where I thought it was, so lock number four is way back that way yet, and lock number three, so anyway. I have been down this way for a while, so anyway, I'm going to head back to the main trail. I have been here before, I remember this bottle dump here with all the trash. You can find some old stuff in some of these canal beds. 
but we're not gonna look. I don't have time today to mess around with that. So we're gonna head on back to the trail, main railroad bed up there. Yeah, they stopped using the canal all the way back in, uh, was it 1884, 1883 is when they stopped using it. So even back then they started filling it with trash. So sometimes you can find older bottles in those, in those spots if you want to, if you're into looking for that kind of stuff. Okay, here it gets kind of muddy. Down here is a much more clearer section of the canal. What it looks like today, you can kind of see the, there's, you know, kind of went down there. There's the other berm or the beam, berm I guess you call it. There'll be, you know, canal boats would travel through here one time. They were pulled by donkeys that walked along the canal towpath trail. That's kind of overgrown and there's still some water in here. Um, I had been working on a video series called Following the Union Canal. I think I did like three of those episodes. And I will continue those, you know, later this fall. But they're just difficult to do in the summertime because everything gets overgrown and everything. You can't really see the canal and some of the historic locks and stuff. So I will be starting it up soon again. But this is kind of what the canal looks like down here. You know, just interesting to think that, you know, 100 years ago they were you know, canal boats going up and down here, being pulled by donkeys, you know, carrying, usually they're carrying coal down from Pine Grove and other goods back up, but now it's back to this. And it's cool that here in Sitar State Park, a lot of it has been preserved instead of a lot of areas it gets destroyed and stuff like that. So cool to see us out here. I'm going to head down this side little trail. No promises, but I think I think we'll find something down here if I remember correctly. No promises. down there. Over there is the remains of lock number three. So cool. This one's actually not in terrible condition compared to some of them. Now you can see some of the stonework already over there. I'll try to get up closer here. And here we are close to it. One side of it and still has some of the original stonework here. It's kind of a muddy here. <laughs> yeah, the boats would have come through here. Because these locks were used to raise and lower the water level. You know, there would be a, a door at either end. They would, you know, close the door, it would fill up with water, fill up with water, you know, so the boat would rise, be able to get to the next section of the waterway. That's what they were for. For every, everywhere there was a Every time there was a significant change in elevation, you needed one of these locks to raise the water level in the canal so the boats could continue on. This is lock number three. Looks pretty good. Yeah, a lot of the, the finished stone is still in the corners, but back, but back further, it's just a uh, more rough stone. It used to be have that more finished stone on it. A lot of times that stone got taken away. When the canal was abandoned, people found that nice finished stone to be good for, you know, building houses and other things. So they came out here and took a lot of it to build those things. But in some places, like on the corners there, you still see it, the nice finished stone. Like right there and right there. All right. 
Well, I gotta start heading back. All right, head back to the main trail, but oh, there's a, one of the old culverts to the railroad. See, some of that stone there might have been taken from the lock we were just at to make this culvert. Sometimes that's what happened as well. Cool little piece of history there too. All right, well, I gotta get back. Gotta get back home. I'm like a little boy out here in the woods. I gotta, I'm out here playing in the woods, but I gotta get home and do homework. Well, instead of doing homework, I have to grade homework, so can't avoid it forever. So I think we'll hustle on back, make our way home. I'm back at the end of the trail here so this will be it for this video thanks for coming along on this whole adventure I gotta get home and do things I'm supposed to be doing <laughs> all right but as always you can find me on Facebook um, you can always ask me questions on there I'm also on patreon too if you want to support me in any way there um, but uh, hey whenever you have a chance get out and explore get out and go for a walk in these beautiful woods wherever you are or desert or wherever you live. Get out there and uh, get some exercise and explore. All right, I'll see you around.